I'm 67 almost. I began preaching when I was 21. I had the most beautiful beginning, very beautiful. Um, I'm sure many of the people have heard the name Catherine Kuhlman, but I don't know how many of them had ever been to any of her meetings like I have. You cannot forget that experience. It, it, there's no way for you, young people, or anyone else, who had not been to Catherine Kuhlman's meetings to have any idea of the change that can happen in your life if you are in those meetings or you were in those meetings. So when you see the YouTube uh, uh, footage and other things people have seen, it doesn't do anything to your average person looks and said, oh, you know, he doesn't get it. Mm -hmm. But I was in my 20s when I went to Catherine's meetings. I, I would say this, and, and, I, and I'm saying this to explain something, but to be in those meetings would be no different than had I been on the Mount of Transfiguration with the Lord. The presence of Jesus, you, no way to explain it when she walked on that platform, it was instant glory. You began to weep immediately. Before she would even utter a word, you're crying. And you feel this heavenly atmosphere that was so pure to the place when you left the room or the church was in, you did not realize till you got outside how glorious it was inside. Wow. Because the oppression outside became real. Mm. See, we live today with oppression all around us. We've become accustomed to it. Did you understand that? Yeah. But when you're in that presence, there is no oppression. Demons cannot function in that presence. So you walked into the service, you sat for a good hour, sometimes longer. At the first meeting, I think we sat for two hours before Ms. Kuman came on. Mm. Cold uh, weather in Pittsburgh back in the December 73, when I went for the first time, I will never, th this cannot be erased out of my life. I will never forget when she walked on that platform or to the pulpit. It was the first Presbyterian church downtown Pittsburgh. It's still there. When she came on that, uh, when she walked out, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. Wow. The atmosphere became so heavenly I wasn't sure if I was alive. I thought this cannot be on earth anymore. It was very, very, uh, and it's very difficult even now to explain it. It was at that time very difficult to know where am I? Am I still on earth? And the glory of the Lord, the reality, listen, I've been in, in my own crusades. I've been in other meetings with other people. No one had that, and I don't even know if to call it the anointing because it's way more than the anointing mm -hmm. that was there. The visible, and I want to ex explain the visible presence of the Lord was there, even though you could not see him. The visible presence, he became so tangible, it, it was more real than to see him with your physical eyes. And when I would say something, he would answer me like that. Wow. So when I, when I stood there in, in, in tears, and the first words out of my mouth, have mercy on me, Lord, because I felt so filthy. Wow. Because when the glory is there, all you see is your sin. Mm. And I said, have mercy on me. And 
I heard him immediately, like instantly. My mercy is abundant on you. And I, I, I was speechless. It was that reality that changed me. So 